Frost Monster Vans. I want to show you one of our new builds here. This was a pretty cool project that we partnered with Outside Magazine on, along with a bunch of other partners that have supplied equipment and components for this build. So we'll uh, call those out as we go through. Uh, let's step inside and check out what we have going on. So as we step up into the vehicle, before we dive into some of the details, we'll talk about the layout and some of the design elements. You'll notice we have a bunch of light grays in the lower parts of the van with the light gray flooring, this cool Pendleton fabric, and the gray upholstered walls. We then contrast that with a birch butcher block and this pine tongue and groove ceiling. Uh, the layout components in this van, you've got a nice long galley on the driver's side with this flip up countertop that really extends your prep space. Uh, a raised bed in the back and then a closet and a shower on the driver's side. Diving into some of the components on the driver's side here, we have a 12 volt isotherm fridge. Uh, this is a really nice size for anywhere from three to 14 day trips. This is a door style with a freezer on the top. Great for all of your goodies on the road. Find that we have a Ruvati sink and faucet pull out sprayer that will reach outside. They also have a rear shower, but in case you need to spray anything off outside, it's nice to locate a sink near the sliding door. Behind that, we have this propane stove, three burners, which is rather deluxe for a van. Uh, some really good meals are sure to be cooked on this stove, and it even includes an oven down below. So all of you foodies out here, this is a great setup. This is powered by a three and a half gallon propane tank that's located underneath the vehicle. Uh, we keep propane outside when we can for safety. Other components on this side, we've got upper cabinet storage here with a WeBoost antenna. And then we hid all of the controls for the van uh, behind this panel. So behind this panel, we have all of the controls for the van. They chose to hide these controls to really lean into the homey feel of the white cabinetry and the homey aesthetic in this van. At the top, we have a Victron uh, touchscreen controller. You can monitor really accurately all of the DC and AC loads that are uh, coming in and out of the system. Below that, we have our touchscreen control system. This is a really interactive way to control the lighting and systems in the van. You have a master on off, which is just quick and dirty for turning all your lights on or all your lights off. You can quickly look at your fresh water level as well as your battery. You can come in and dim different lighting zones here. And then you've got your other systems, fridge, water pump, as well as some troubleshooting capability in this settings uh, page of that. As we move over to this side, we've got our heating and cooling. Uh, in this van, we have the Van Life Tech uh, in-floor heat system. This is what they call the Roman Holiday. So it is going to create heat and hot water in this van through a hydronic in-floor heat system that's supplemented by an air-based or a hot air-based uh, supplemental heat and then uh, instant hot water with a expansion tank. So really as much water capacity as in this van, you'll be able to use it all as hot water if you wanted. Uh, this controller it can get as complicated as you want you can set different away and stay times for different days of the week and really tune in the comfort that you want in your van as we move down we have the cruising comfort ac system uh, this is by far one of the coolest and coldest acs uh, that we've installed uh, it is different than some of the other ac units in the sense that it is both uh, a DC system. This is a 24 volt battery bank in this van. So it runs on 24 volts. It also is not a rooftop unit. So it is an undermount compressor. Uh, the rest of the mechanicals hide in this closet cabinet here. And then the cold air blows out at the top. And just like any AC unit you'd expect, you can control the temperature setting, the fan settings, and your cooling modes. And then when you're done, you've got everything just the way that you want it, you can shut this and you don't have to stare at the controls for your system. As we move to the driver's side of the van, you have a closet back here with great storage and the mechanicals for the AC unit. In front of that, we have a custom shower with a dry flush toilet in here. Uh, this is a 24 by 30, which is a pretty common size shower for our vans. Uh, this is located just in front of the wheel well and we have this sliding waterproof door 
So really easy to keep all of your water inside the shower or create some privacy for the bathroom. And the final component on the driver's side here is this bench seat with the Pendleton fabric. This has our uh, backrest that folds down so you can turn this into a dog bed or a day bed uh, or maybe a small sleeping area for a child. It's a little bit on the small side. This then folds back up. This bench seat houses uh, all of the components for the van life tech system so that is all located inside the van and it's going to keep you nice and toasty in those winter months uh, the last thing is this lagoon table mount which is not set up currently but the lagoon system that you guys have seen before allows you to adjust the height pivot swivel and then take it down and store it when it's not in use let's hop around the back and we'll check out some of the systems so as we come to the back of this van, we have a really nice large garage space under this raised bed. This is gonna be great for mountain bike storage, skis, gear storage. One of the components that you'll see right away is this Tiny Watts power system. So uh, they essentially shipped us this, this box. It goes in, we wire to it, and uh, they were super generous to help us out on this project and uh, hook it up with this power system. You've got a bunch of uh, DC breakers back here, um, controls for your van. The idea behind this system is you should never have to get into this black box. You can interface with everything you need to with your power system via Victron Bluetooth systems or these breakers in the back. As we jump over to the driver's side, they've got 30 gallons of fresh water. Uh, the tanks are interior to the van, so Again, with the heating system and the insulation in the van, this is gonna be a great rig to use in all months of the year, especially the winter months. Uh, and you'll have plenty of gear storage to bring all the toys you need for that, those colder weather adventures. The final details of the garage here, around the perimeter, you see the bug screen. So they will zip in and zip out. So during the buggy seasons, you zip them in, they're magnetic closure and will keep all the bugs out of your van. They're also, L track run throughout the garage. This is going to be great for attaching ski racks in the winter and you know flexible storage solutions in the summer. And the final pieces that I skipped over here, you of course have garage lights uh, in the back, which are great for loading and unloading on those dark nights when you're doing gear changeovers. And then you know power outlets throughout the van. You've got uh, AC outlet here, 12 volt outlet, as well as some. Um, uh, obviously outlets throughout the van and we also have some exterior outlets on the side of the van over here which will be great for who knows maybe some margarita blenders while we're right here we'll also point out the flare space this is going to allow them to sleep really comfortably sideways in this van paired with the cr lawrence half slide windows which is going to be great for opening up and getting airflow while you're in bed back here Thanks for checking out our new build. Be sure to keep your eye out. This thing's gonna be touring around the US, so uh, be sure to honk or wave as you see these guys out there using it and having fun. And please check us out on Instagram and YouTube, and we look forward to hearing from you.